Okay, class, here's a great, a great way to review for your Algebra 2 final exam. And I'm calling this a scavenger hunt because you're going to hunt through your notes for the things that you don't remember. But before we get into it, let's have a final riddle. What has fingers but no arms? A glove. Get it? Fingers but no arms? <laughs> okay. So the first thing I want you to do is write down the different forms for our linear equations. Start with slope-intercept form, then do point-slope form, and standard form. Then pause the video to make sure you have time to write those things down. And then you're going to go to the next thing. So you're going to do a lot of pausing as you search through. For parallel lines, I like for you to fill in the blank. So parallel lines have blank slopes. Perpendicular lines have blank, blank slopes. You see the two blanks. That's a hint. Now... List three ways to solve systems of equations. Now list the four steps for solving absolute value equations. Now we're going to look a little bit at quadratics. I'd like for you to look at where all the yellow arrows are pointing and see if you can label each aspect of this parabola. List the three forms. And not just list the names, but for example, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Then write the other two forms. Now, list the names of these polynomials. For example, degree one is linear. I like for you to list the names of degree two, three, four, and five. Now, scroll through your notes and find the steps for finding the vertex of a parabola. Label these parts of a generic polynomial, and I'll give you a hint. D is the constant term. Let's look at factoring. What are my five tips for factoring? I'll give you a hint. The first one is find the GCF. Now, see if you remember how to factor the difference of two squares. I'll give you a hint. A plus B times, <laughs> finish up all of these um, patterns for factoring. Now, write the quadratic equation if AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. X equals, <laughs> you could do the rest. Now, list the methods for solving quadratic equations. I'll give you a hint. The first one is factor and use the zero product property. Find your notes and see what else. Now, list the steps for solving radical equations. Now, list the laws of exponents. For example, x to the m power times x to the n power, you add the exponents. So that would be x 
to the M plus N. There's more properties or laws, I should say. Now, list the steps for finding an inverse function. One of the steps tells you to switch X and Y. Now, look up the properties of logs. Then, write the base change formula. All of these things can be found in your notes. Now, I want to remember if you remember how to convert from exponential form to logarithmic form. For these interest formulas, see if you remember what the formulas are. If you don't, look them up in your notes and you'll also want to diagram what each and every variable stands for. Do the same for the continuously compound interest formula. Now, do you remember the formulas for sequences and series? There were five. If you complete this review and study all of these steps and formulas, this will help you a great deal on your final exam.